Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Age of Empires Definitive Edition. So uh, it's it's been quite a while since I've <laughs> since I've touched this campaign or played um, any Age of Empires. Actually, I apologize for that. Um, it's been what probably three or four years. Um, but you know, it's funny. I've always wanted to get back into this, and after they released the Age of Empires Definitive Editions on Steam. I've always thought about, you know, starting up this series again, playing it, you know, maybe going through Age of Empires, the, the rest of this, these campaigns here in Age of Empires Definitive Edition, and then going on to Age of Empires 2 and Age of Empires 3. I've never actually, even as a kid, I've played these games since I was a child when they came out, um, but I've never actually played through all the campaigns and done all the missions and, and all that stuff. I've actually always wanted to get back into that. So I figured... This was a good opportunity to do uh, to do that. Hopefully, um, can't promise anything. I I wanted to get back into doing let's plays. Maybe, you know, um, nothing serious. Just kind of trying it out. Um, so let's get back in. Um, like I said, it's probably been about three four years since I've touched this game. So this might might take me some time to uh, get used to things again. But we were continuing on. So we finished the Ascent of Egypt campaign. It's funny because on Steam, um, so I finished it, I had the Microsoft Store version of this game, and it translates perfectly to the Steam version, right? So the Ascent of Egypt campaign, I've unlocked all the missions and I've, I've technically completed that campaign, but Steam doesn't recognize that I have, which is kind of funny. And then in the Glory of Greece campaign, we're about to start up into uh, the next mission. I think we're on mission six and I think there's eight. Um, I, I have the missions that I've completed and locked and, and then we go on to the next one. So I thought that was kind of funny. So let's jump again um, to the Glory of Greece campaign. We're going to hopefully tackle these as well. Some of these are longer, some of these are shorter. I think the Yamato campaign, which is in Japan, to my understanding, is the longest campaign there is. I think it's like 12 missions. And then some of these are like, I think, six. Six missions or, or even um, a little more than that. I think most of them are six to eight. So we'll see how this goes. The Peloponnesian War has concluded, bringing peace to Hellas for a short time. You are part of a company of 10,000 Greek mercenaries hired to support Cyrus the Younger in his struggle to claim the Persian throne from Artaxerxes II, his brother. The Battle of Cunaxa yielded an overwhelming victory for your company, but it is all for naught as Cyrus fell in combat. Your contingent of mercenaries is now isolated deep inside the Persian Empire with no help in sight. The journey to the nearest port on the Black Sea will be long and perilous but it yields the opportunity for ample spoils and an eventual return home. Capture the artifact held in the city on the coast, build a transport ship there, and bring the artifact to friendly territory in the far north. Okay, cool. So Xenophon's March. This is in 401 BC, huh? That's cool. Siege of Athens, colonization of Ionia. Hmm. Let's see, hence, uh, choose your building sites carefully, use your resources wisely for their in short supply, and a shortage of supplies means that not all buildings and ships will be available on your journey. Let's see, let's take a little bit at the history. The following the end of the Peloponnesian War after 404 BCE, numerous experienced soldiers from the various city-states found themselves to be out of work. Greek hoplites were the most formidable infantry soldiers in the West at the time, and many found employment overseas as mercenaries. At 401 BCE, Cyrus the Younger rebelled against his brother Artaxerxes II, seeking the throne of Persia for himself. The nucleus of his army was 10,000 Greek mercenaries, most of them heavy infantry. And it's funny, because at this time, 10,000 men was a lot. Um, as, you know, time went on, you know, 401 BCE, and then you get into the 300s BCE, I mean, the number of troops getting up there was, was pretty crazy. Um, 10,000 men at this time would have been a, a very large army. I think the Spartans, probably until, you know, Alexander the Great, the Spartans never really had an army of probably more than five to 10,000 men, like ever. And they were seen as some of the finest soldiers in the ancient world, um, at least until the Macedonians came around with the with the pike, with the Sarissa. The Greek force was originally led to believe that they were being sent on a punitive expedition into the interior of Asia Minor. When Cyrus con uh, continued to march into Mesopotamia, the mercenaries were thrilled by the prospect of further riches and glory. They met the Persian forces under Artaxerxes II in the Battle of Canaxa, where the Greek infantry dominated the field and engineered a victory. Unfortunately, Cyrus was slain in battle, rendering the achievement null and leaving the 10,000 Greeks stranded in the heart of enemy territory. Xenophon's book, The Anabasis, literally going inland in ancient Greek, tells the story of the harrowing expedition. 
The Persians feigning peaceful intentions summoned the Greek commanders to negotiations where they were treacherously slain. Appointing new commanders, Xenophon among them, the company began the long journey north to a suitable port in the Black Sea. Although the Persians seldom harassed the Greeks, the elements took their toll over the next two years and only roughly 6,000 troops made it to the coast, where they reportedly rejoiced yelling, Thalata, Thalata, the Greek word for the sea. That's that's really crazy, is they were all the way out here at Kunaxa. This is near um, where the decisive victory for Alexander the Great uh, came at the Battle of Gagamela. Um, this is like, you know, ancient, like, yeah, this is Mesopotamia or like modern day Iraq. This is pretty far. I mean, to, to march from here or sail even from here to say, you know, one of the ports in Tyr, I think actually that is Tyr right there. And then to march from here, that's, that's a lot. That's, that's pretty far. I guess back then, I, I don't even know if back then that was seen as a lot, but uh, you know, <laughs> it's interesting to think of even today. The March of the 10,000 is considered to be one of the greatest survival stories of all time. The tactical and logistical knowledge that the Greeks brought home proved integral to the evolution of their military structure over the following decades, as ranged and mobile units were added to the core of heavy infantry that the Greek city-states had relied upon for decades. Furthermore, the internal instabilities of the Persian Empire were made known to the Greeks, who would eventually capitalize on their advantage. Okay, let's go and jump on in. Alright, so we have a market. We have a government center. Okay. Let's see, we got uh, four Persian factions, Persia, 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 and Persia. And then we got some troops down here. Okay, so it looks like we have... I'm going to get the infantry as number one. I'll do the ballistas as number two. Looks like we have villagers. Okay, these are uh, centurions. Here to the phalanx. It's funny they call these guys centurions. So phalanx... Yes, was a hoplite. Centurions, though, I think probably the most that the Greeks ever had was a phalanx, or or what would what would you know you would know as a hoplite? Because I don't know where they get the name centurion from. You know, because like the idea of a military unit that was a century, which is a, a hundred, was developed by the Romans, not the Greeks. All right, let's find out what we got here. Erectus. Erectus. I, I always, I always thought this guy kind of sounded a little bit like Gandalf in a mix of like something else. I don't know. Well, was it arrives exactly when he needs to? Erectus. Erectus. So there's some sort of artifact somewhere on the map, and we want to get. We want to get it here, but we also need our troops and our and our supplies and such. And I think I don't even know if we're gonna build anything. Okay, so we can't build a town center. We have limited resources for that, though. So what I'm really kind of curious about is, do I build wherever? You know, it's kind of interesting to think about. Let me see. Rocky. Preferably, we, we want some sort of elevated position with food available close by. At the very least, maybe stone, wood, and food. And hopefully in some sort of elevated position. So we need to see if we can find that. I'm not, not that confident, but we'll, we'll see. These are pretty good troops, though, so we'll probably deal with whatever per the Persians send on this. Unless they have range. Then that's gonna suck. To be fair though, I think we have resistance to range of three. <laughs> Jesus, man. Okay. Got some lions. Want to make sure we keep our troops healed up, so I'm willing to keep walking until we find a suitable place to to set up a base of some kind. I just want to be careful. We gotta at least find food or, or or something. I mean, we can build farms as well. We just need a place with a lot of wood and preferably, like I said, some sort of elevated position of some kind. 
Damn, this takes me back though, man. Truthfully, the nostalgia means means a lot when you're playing a game like this. Okay, so that's a legion. Can I convert that some bitch? Oh, oh shit. Okay. It's quite a few troops. I'm gonna I'm gonna just hope that we can take them on. Um, I kind of want to convert one of these guys. Ooh, let's see if I can get that. Let's see if I can get that elephant. Oh, sweet. Okay, we got him. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's try and keep this guy back for now. I also do not remember if... I want to be cautious if the area of effect from our weapons can hurt our own troops. I need to be careful of that. Is that the elephant? My god, it sounds like a baby. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so let's let this guy heal everybody up. Um, we got a war elephant, so we have... Yeah, as increased armor against ballista, helopolis, and missile weapons, it causes trample damage, trample damage to adjacent enemy units. Okay, so we have cavalry. I guess you can, we can use this guy in the form of cavalry. Let's just be careful here. Does he have like unlimited faith? I'm kind of curious about that actually. Damn, man, that elephant sounds mad, dude. I guess I was pissed off. Then again, I guess he's got a guy on his head, you know. Yeah, be kind of careful with that. And it is it is incredible, you know. Even even a smooth. Ooh, what's all this? Okay, so we have a stable. Okay, let's destroy these buildings. Is this a base of some kind? Oh, so it is. Okay. So we have a base. We have an enemy base here. Um, I can't remember. Can can? I don't think so. I'm trying to think if this priest can convert buildings. I know. I know. I think you can. I, I just don't think you could do it now. Damn, dude. All right, let's destroy this. Okay, so we destroyed the red dude. Okay, so I can't can't cross this, can I? I don't think so. Um unless there's some sort of bridge or something somewhere. I don't think so. Okay, so we need boats to get across here. Let me see. So we can build a dock. There's there's wood around here. We only need a couple of transport boats, you know. There's no dock over here, so I can't build ships from here and sail them down the river at all.
That damn elephant, man. Sounds pissed. Okay, yeah, so we need we definitely need a dock. I'm thinking of just building a dock here, maybe. The, my concern is... Because we could also maybe get... We could get a storage pit and get more wood. And also, there is some stuff for food here. So I'm debating getting a storage pit, getting some wood. But I don't know. Hmm. Let me try the dock. We have 350 wood. Bombus. I'm trying to see how much a transport boat would be. Well, I think we probably only need one. We could do a fishing ship if there's fish around here. We can use that to get some uh, some food. Heavy transports. Yeah, so 150 wood. That's quite a bit. Um, Trireams are 135. Let's see. Population limit. Do these guys cost population? It looks like they don't. Is that normal? I thought boats actually do cost population of some kind. Hmm. Okay. So what we could also do is build a storage pit here. Oh no, we do need more houses. Oh, we do. Yeah, this does cost population. I think it costs one or more. Okay. I'm curious how much this guy costs, because I could also kill this guy. Hmm. Rogan? 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 Oklemas? Alamas. 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 Okay, here's what I think I do need to do. I think I do need to do. I think I need a storage pit. I think we need to get some wood and maybe some food. So let's go ahead and build this. And then we're going to build more houses. We'll get some food. I don't think I'm going to do a town center, though. That's a lot of wood to spend. I, I think I'll just get the bare necessities. What is the bare necessity? You know. Um, let's build a couple houses. We can build, we can build a couple. We'll let these guys get some wood. Uh, let me build just a couple here. I don't need too much. Because I also kind of want to get some more boats and kind of kind of explore the rivers and see what are we looking at here. You know? Because um, we need to we need to cross this eventually to get back here. Summers. So this should be kind of interesting. So yeah, so now we have some population. Let me see if I can get maybe... I could get a dry ream. Let's see. Get a juggernaut. These guys are beast. These guys cost gold. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on anything like that. I think I'll get one trireme. Yeah, let's let's see what's out here. And then uh, we have some gazelles here. I don't want to do any farms. We could, but I don't I don't know if we need to recruit more troops or anything right now. Um, we could take the chance, but the longer you know we spend building up resources and this and that, the longer this is gonna take. We want to have this trireme explore and get us a lay of the land. At the very least, we need to find the Persians to get the artifact. Okay, so there's nothing over here. So I think our only choice is to possibly sail down the river or across this and figure out where this goes. Keep getting some wood. <coughs> What is interesting here is this is even though this is some shallows and there's there seems to be a way through here. Okay, so we do have an enemy base here. Okay.
Okay, so I'm, I'm glad I got this tri ram. Damn, dude, these guys do some, some decent damage. Composite Bowman? Shit. Alright, let's get this guy healed up real quick. Larry. I think. Nice. <clears throat> so there's something here. Larry. Larry. Pokemon. Thomas. Alright. Let's see what else is down here. So we had some archers. Archers are kind of not what we want to be dealing with because we're mostly a, a pretty heavy infantry force. Um. Ooh, okay, so they got a tower as well. Alright. Holy shit, dude, the range on that thing. Damn, that's that's gnarly. That's pretty gnarly. Alright. So there's something here. Do we need more troops? Can we take it on? It's a hard question. Let me get a transport. Let me see let me see if I can destroy this without using infantry. I don't know. I wish I actually had a longer range than that guy. Possibly this guy would. This guy could actually probably take him out without. Damn. He's not, yeah, he's not that effective against structures. Okay, let's keep him back then. I think I'll have to send in the inventory. We'll keep these villagers back for now. Let's see, there's no stone over here. There's no, well, there's there's food and there's no, there's wood. Yeah, we don't got much else, so. Let's get the rest of the troops over. I doubt we'll probably encounter any more troops that are more advanced than ours. I guess you never know, though. Range of 10. I gotta admit, I would not mind... I would not mind some archers. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Archers would be kind of nice to have. Let's see, because we can, we can get an archery range. Is it worth it to try and get some? We don't have a lot of food. Let me see how much. Let me see how much they cost. We could get some some food from the gazelle. It's not going to be a lot though. So is it worth it to try and get some of these guys? These are only bowmen, man. Mm -hmm. Trans quick and cheap, yeah. Compared to their bowmen, that's nothing. Yeah, it, it's not really worth it. Okay. I think I'm just going to save the food. Yeah, 40 each for those guys? That's, that's expensive. What's the range on these dudes? 12. I want to see, can they outshoot that damn thing? Oh, they can! Ah, oh, hell yeah, dude. What's the range on this tower? 9. So these guys are 12. Well, that's convenient. Holy crap, you could really only fit one of these guys? Wow. Okay. 
Whatever you say, game. Alright, let's take a position up on this. I may not need to. I don't know what's down here. Let's have the trireme explore a little more. Before we send the infantry up. What I'm kind of wondering is if we're supposed to like kind of chew our way through all this wood. I'm gonna doubt that's what we're supposed to do though. So at least means we can get through. Kind of explore a bit. Okay, so there's something here. Can't get there by land, though. And I'm, I'm really a little confused by these guys. <laughs> I mean, I get it. It's it's like a tier four, you know, infantry, but I, I, I highly doubt the pro. Ooh, what the hell are these? Oh, shit. These are horse archers, aren't they? Wow, they do nine damage each? Dude, that's terrifying. Can I even beat this guy in a one-on-one -on -one duel? Train slingers required to re you know, required to build the archer ranges and stables. Hmm. Okay, so we obviously need to go here. The question is how exactly to approach this situation. I'm th I'm thinking maybe we build a couple more triremes. Um, I'm actually willing to get a juggernaut and a trireme. Let's get like two of those guys. I know we're spending the gold. To be fair, there is some down here if we need more. Jesus. It's actually pretty amazing. I mean, even when you zoom in, it's pretty amazing how detailed these guys look. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, let's see if we can take out most of this with the boats. I don't want to use the inventory for this. It's going to take some time. We kind of need to be a bit methodical about this. This may be a long Let's Play episode, but... Damn, these guys do 35 damage, 12 range. So, so these guys have the same range. I don't know, so this is 10. This is 12. Okay, so 12 range here, no armor. Not much at all. Yeah, we gotta be methodical about this. Let's at least try and get rid of the archer range, all the horse archers, all the archers. Let's see what we can do. I wanna try and spare the inventory if I can. Build some houses over here. Salmas, Alamas, Umbis, Umbis, Yuri. Let's see. 
If we take out all the ranged, destroy all the structures. With this catapult, it shouldn't take that long, hopefully. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got some troops here. Okay, so a couple of composite bowmen, some horse archers. Let's try to see if we can tackle them one at a time. Damn! <laughs> Did you see that? Holy shit! That catapult, dude. That was cool. Let's see what we can destroy. I think the archer range needs to go down first. So they can't get more archers. Get a barracks. Okay. I think we can I think we can probably start transport some troops. Should I get one more transport actually? Just make, just make sure we can drop everybody off at once. Or not a bad idea. Sure. I have enough wood, I have enough population. Yeah, so this, these triremes don't do good against structures, but the catapult does. Actually, it doesn't even do that well against the heavy infantry either. Damn. We'll pick with the villagers uh, when we can. I want to try to see if I can convert one of these guys. Maybe one or a couple more. Look at that! These guys do 20 damage! Holy shit! Oh, damn. Okay. Whoopsies. Should I kill this truth back? I think he's hitting short, isn't he? Because uh, I don't know if you can see it. Oh no, so we're not short. We're hitting it. Okay. Okay, cool. Let me heal this swordsman here. It's about to be the end of the yellow guy. Kill the yellow dude. Yeah, let's let him hear everybody. Heal everybody. Okay. Um, there's probably not going to be much else we could do with these guys, unfortunately. This river doesn't go out where we want it to go. So, I may have to destroy some of these guys. Because we, we might need the population. 
In the meantime, let's grab the uh, villagers. And let's try and explore a little more. Let's see what's out here. We gotta hold on to this monk, man. So we got two Persian factions left. Oh shit. Hmm. Let them break down that wall. There's something here we might be able to use. Uh, I'm curious if I can convert these guys, one of these guys, and sacrifice them. Nice. It at least tells me what's over here. Got a couple towers. Come the inventory. Yeah, let me let me destroy this just to give us a bit more. I need some more space here. It looks like these guys do not have an area of effect attack, so that's good. So the first troops I'm sending in is a Halepolis. They have a longer range than that tower. Okay. I'm almost guessing this artifact has got to be in here. Not bad. Uh, actually, before we do this, let's see what else do they have on this, this other side. Because if they, if they have archers, then we need to know that. Yeah. Okay, so they do have inventory. I wonder if they have archers. Though. That's the question. Let me see if I can convert one of those dudes and see what's over here. Wait, is that this monk? Holy shit, dude, he has a huge line of sight compared to the inventory. That's like terrifying. He also has a really, really far conversion range that I noticed. Oh! Cataphract, huh? So I convert that some bitch. I did, dude. Let's see if you can tell me what's around here. Oh, what the hell? For real? That's cool, man. 
We got some troops. All right, let me convert. Let me convert this guy here. We got some extra troops. Oh shit, these are some good troops too. I'll tell you what. All right, let's convert this guy. Oh god, dude, these heavy catapults, man. So I I like these guys. It's just they're they're really dangerous. That area of effect attack is a son of a bitch. It's gonna make this pretty difficult. I, I all right, let me do all inventory as, as number one. Oh shit, I got more. Kill the cataphracts! Kill them! Okay, we're definitely gonna need the catapults for something. They wouldn't have given it to me if I didn't need them. Okay, so we got one. I mean, cavalry is three. I'm going to do these guys as four. One, two, two, three. This damn big Bertha, sons of bitches. And then let's uh, let's get this guy. I'm gonna, I'll make him five, I guess. Two, three, four, five. Five for the priest. Um, unless I I see structures, I'm actually gonna probably keep these catapults here. I don't like to use these guys. That area of effect will kill your troops as fast as it will kill the enemies. I'm gonna send the cataphracts up. Let's see what they can find. There's gotta be something up here. Stables, okay. At least the ballistas do not have an area of effect attack. At least I don't think they do. Yeah, I'm gonna keep those guys back for now. Until I got reason to use them. Sweet. Alright. Yep. See what else we got. This cavalry a pretty decent line of sight. This priest does though. He sees actually really far. Okay. I'm gonna guess the artifact is in there. We'll let them handle that. We're going to destroy so that. Damn, dude, these guys are gonna kill this thing before these guys even arrive. It's funny because the ballistas have almost as much range as the heavy catapults. You know? Yeah, this is your siege weapons, man. Siege weapons. Oh, dude, look at that area of effect damage. Jesus Christ. Ridiculous. See, this is why I don't want to use the damn catapults, man. They're very potent. 
Actually, I'm, I'm gonna take these guys off of the um, the hotkey just so that I don't accidentally select them. I want to select them only when I when I click on them. That way I don't, you know, tell them to attack somebody I don't want to. And all my troops die. Okay, so it looks like the orange dudes, the orange dudes have the artifacts somewhere. Sent through the infantry. Let's explore a bit. Send the cataphracts. They have some pretty decent line of sight as far as ground troops go. This guy has incredible line of sight. I don't know what it is about him. I didn't know priests had that much. He can see really, really far. His cavalry are actually pretty good too. So let me explore here. So this may be the ocean that's going to take us home. However, I need to find the artifact. Because we have cataphracts here. Okay. So I may build a dock here and kind of explore. In fact, I probably should. Let me keep these troops here. I'll bring this guy up. What if I can grab that cataphract? Let me get, uh, let me get a dock over here. Unfortunately, I gotta delete these these boats. I think so. That's that sucks. Man, that's some good music too. I don't know if you guys see any of the music. I kind of turned it down a bit, but it's some nice music. Let's build a trireme. That's what we got over here. Oh, shit. Damn, look at that. See that? They didn't, he didn't have time to convert. They just killed him. I thought we'd have more time. But, uh, alright. I'm keeping you back, dude. Alright, explore for me, dude. What is over here? Tell me, man. Oh shit, they do have a navy. Yeah, let, let's let this guy take that out. Okay, so they do have a navy, so we're gonna need some naval forces. Let's explore a little more. What else we got over here? I don't mind losing this guy, I just, I just kind of want to see how many boats they have. They obviously can't hit my ass. Run, you fat bastard! Roll for your life! Okay. Alright. So let's have him take out that tower. <laughs> Something in here. Uh, yeah, I can bring up the catapults, maybe. I don't know. It's gonna take a while to get here.
I could record more. Um, let, let me get a couple more boats. Do I want another juggernaut? I probably could use them, but I'll, I'll go for like two more triremes, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Cataprex. Get that dude. Oh, God. No! One of my blisters died. Oh, God. No! My other hell level has died. Holy God. Okay. Okay, so we're lucky we kept these guys back. Jesus. Destroy the towers. I'm almost certain the artifact is in there. It has to be. I don't know, they had troops, man. Damn. Still got two cataphracts. Let me see what else they got. You got anything else around here I should know about? Artifacts gotta be in there, man. Perhaps not. They can't hit the cataphracts, they're too fast. Okay. That's fine. Damn it, though, I lost his ballistic. Those are pretty good units, man. These guys got me through a lot, man. To spoil on the coast a little bit. This might take some time. No artifacts. Somewhere else, then. Okay, so we got a town center there. We got towers here. I'm gonna guess maybe it's in here, then. We might approach from this side instead of this side. This side kind of bottle bottlenecks us a little bit because of cause the trees. I think the infantry are more spread out here. I think I'll take that tower out and then just see what's over here. thing. Uh, oh shit. Alright. No, damn it! Oh, what the fuck ever. Holy shit. No! Damn. Pull back, you bastards. Pull back. Let the Navy take the brunt. Okay. Oh shit, I don't know if we're at range yet. Okay, so perhaps we have to go this way. Uh, let's go and get a storage pit. Let's let's get some more wood just in case. Humbus. We could use some more. Um, there is gold as well if we want to get it. I don't think we'll need it, but we can. Logan? Okay, so he's healed most most guys. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's interesting he needs faith only to convert. I, I thought you needed it to heal as well. I, I think, I can't tell... Did they change that in, in the future? I don't know. I'd have to check that. I'm actually kind of curious about that myself now. Hmm. Okay. So I can destroy that. I don't I don't know if they had any more troops here. Send some of the horses. They got a pretty good line of sight. Um, I wanted to destroy that, but... Perhaps we need to wait. I haven't seen any more troops here for a while. Okay, so there's the artifact. There it is. I think they might be done with troops on the on the mainland. Um, let's get three more triremes. I think we'll just we'll just hug this wall and just. Yeah. This may take some time. Ancient objects crafted by now lost cultures. Artifacts can be victory condition or increase your score. So if anybody doesn't know. It's, it's funny, I believe these artifacts, the way they look, is supposed to be like, I guess, what I heard was, what do they call it? Um, the Ark of the Covenant or something? Was supposed to be like a little box with like something in it, I guess. I don't know. And, and so I guess the artifacts are supposed to be like, and, and then I guess four people could carry it. So you can see here on the picture, there's like four places for somebody to carry this. It's got something on it, it's got something at the top, and then it's got wheels on it too. Even that's a pretty like old school looking wheels, you know? I, I don't know, I think that's how they, in Age of Empires, they just kind of modeled it, was like, uh, oh, an artifact is like the Ark of the Covenant, you know? Um, it's supposed to be like some sort of box or some crap. I don't know, something like that. Oh, what the hell, dude, is that Xerxes? Can I kill this dude? Am I supposed to? I guess, I mean, technically, I guess to get it, I, I'd probably have to, right? I guess to die. Am I gonna kill Xerxes? My god, man. It's gonna destabilize the Persian realm, and who wants that? Right? Oh shit, I'm gonna take down this wall. Might need a couple more boats. Oh god. Oh shit. All right, let's send in the troops. Oh, dude, you know, I'm actually kind of curious. Can I convert that, dude? <laughs> That's actually really what I'm curious about. That's, that's what I want to know, man. Can we convert the dude? Oh, my God. <laughs> We converted the dude. Oh, that's great, man. Xerxes is now ours. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, man. That is just, that is enjoyable. Get a heavy transport as well. That is just hilarious, man. King of Kings, ruler of the Persian Empire, and a notorious expansionist. Xerxes. Oh my god. 
great, man. You know what? You know what I also wanted to play. Let me know if you guys want me to do this. Um, I also thought about playing Command and Conquer Remastered. I actually never really got into the Command and Conquer series. I played Red Alert a little bit, but besides that, not really. All right, let's let's make sure the path is cleared. I think it is actually. We've probably destroyed most of the boats right here. That is funny, dude. Oh, it's not. That dude right there. That dude. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. All right. Hmm. Oh, for reals? I know. Can you delete an artifact? I'm not gonna try, but I'm I'm curious if you actually can't do that. Oh shit. Okay. I'm trying to avoid military confrontation if I can. Hmm. Gonna hug this wall and he's gonna make his way over here. What is interesting is they didn't give us any. I don't think they gave us a Xenophon hero, right? I don't think so. I think it was just standard troops. But yet they have a King Xerxes. <laughs> it's funny. Fun. After two long years, your men glimpse the sea and a route home at last. The token Persian resistance was no match for your battle-hardened troops, but the rigors of the journey nevertheless took a toll on your men. As you and your warriors sail home to Hellas, you begin to ponder your observations and discoveries with regard to the nature of the Persian interior and military tactics. The idea strikes your mind to fill a book with the story of your journey and your newfound knowledge. Perhaps someone in the following years may find it useful. Yeah, I'm guessing he probably means Alexander the Great, unless it's somebody else. But Alexander the Great, I think, was one of the first to invade Persia, if not the first. And uh, I'm not sure if he read about Xenophon's march or not. I'm going to guess that he did. And his battle plan in particular... He set sail. I mean, I think they landed in Anatolia. They kind of cut their way across and then went to the Persian heartland. Um, and then that was the Battle of Gagamela, which was the uh, the pinnacle of it all. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that was actually pretty fun. Um, I got to admit, I kind of I'm kind of more motivated to play this series and, and finish it and then move on to Age of Empires 2. Um, I'd like to do that. Uh, a viewer actually emailed me and, and asked if I was going to do that, you know. So I figured, yeah, I've got some time on my hands, you know. Um, we could do that. That'd be fun. So let me know if you guys are enjoying this and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.